hello everyone and welcome back so here we want to um record expenses so let's go to here and then we say supplier we, could, we want to quickly add these suppliers here okay um you know rental expenses so i think in this particular month um you know these are sort of some of the expenses um, okay so to do that let's quickly add a new supply okay so we have got uh, tricon properties tricon properties obvious these ones are uh, on cash on a cash cash basis um, cash basis so we just save them you can see a new supply okay we go to supplies So let's say terms these are net 15 okay so here we put zero there and okay that's fine we save and then we've got engine June said there's a cache there. And the last D one for operating expenses. The last one, let's see. So new supply like this. And then, um, what's that? Electricity. Let's put it at zero. Okay, okay, which is fine. All right, that's fine. So it's time for now. It's our time to record the expenses. So let's just click on expenses. All right, that's fine. So here, let's say, um, create an expense. Create an expense. So here, we are going to start by try properties. Um, payment account. Let's see, let's look for an account. Let's look for an account. So I'm not sure what's happening. It's not uh, bringing all the all the accounts that I need here. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Maybe it's my network. So let me leave without saving. Let me start again. So here. I'm going to create an expense. Uh, so let's see. So how are you paying? Okay, payment account. All right, that's fine. So that's cash in cash. Sorry, I didn't get that at first. So try pro properties. Um, then payment cash. Um, when was this? So let me just say try properties. Maybe this was paid on the seventh, right? And maybe the ref number we can say zero zero one sort of. 
and then here we don't work with I, I, uh, items right so here we work with categories okay so here we are going to choose the category that suits our rental right so let's look for that account so here we have got rent or lease payments okay so here we we put the amount try properties paid 500 we paid 500 to them okay that's fine so i think we can do save and new which is fantastic so we've paid that expense um then here we have got impetus advertising um impetus advertising we paid that let's say maybe on the 9th we paid with cash maybe let's say 003 maybe 003 and the category advertising let's choose the account that choose that fits that so let's say here that we have got uh, other selling expenses okay so i think we can choose other selling expenses there there's no harm because that's the one that's perfectly um so we can put there other selling expenses and how much is that we can put 800 okay and then we can do save and new perfect and then we, we are going to engine fuel engine fuel we're paying with cash maybe this we paid on second then we've got the roof number there and what are we paying for fuel expenses it's so we can say fuel or maybe we can just search there we may need like um, travel travel expenses so like travel general that's fuel for selling expenses and all that like delivering stuff and all that or maybe just transport so you can just put it under travel expense because we haven't already defined that so let's just put that fuel then we've got 350 350 and then we do save a new yeah. and lastly we've got sesa that one we paid on the first then here i think we can make use of utility utilities how much did we pay there 250 so here i can safely write utilities utilities okay uh, maybe i can say electricity okay so electricity then here i think we can do seven clothes perfect so we have added our um, we have added our um, our expenses so i think we are done and um in the next section we are going to record the asset purchase okay so we are going to record the asset purchase
Um, so for now, and after that, we will record depreciation. Okay. So um, I think um, this is clear and straightforward. And um, yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next section.